Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. Glad to be back. Today, we're getting fiery. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Volcanoes. You got it. You wanted to learn more about volcanoes? And let me tell you, this daily motion video simply titled Volcano is a pretty amazing place to start. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just the title alone. Straight to the point. You know, that's going to be good. But really, it's fascinating stuff. So the video dives into how scientists are, get this, trying to predict eruptions. Oh, wow. Talk about pressure. Right. That has got to be one of the most intense jobs. I mean, can you imagine? Absolutely. Especially when you consider the sheer power of these natural forces we're talking about. And the fact that, well, millions of people live near active volcanoes around the world. So it's not just about understanding how they work, but about keeping people safe. Yeah, that's the really mind-blowing part. It's not some theoretical thing happening in isolation. These eruptions have a very real impact on people's lives. So, okay, first things first. What makes volcanoes so hard to predict in the first place? What's going on under there? Right. Well, in simplest terms, it's all about what's happening way down below the Earth's surface. We're talking intense heat, unimaginable pressure, and molten rock constantly shifting and moving around. It's a dynamic system, to say the least. So trying to predict an eruption is like trying to guess what someone's thinking just by looking at their face. There's a lot going on underneath that we can't directly see. It's like a giant fiery mystery. Exactly. And that's where science comes in. The daily motion video highlights some really cool high-tech methods that scientists are using to get a better understanding of what's happening inside these volcanoes. It's like they're trying to peek behind the curtain, so to speak. So what are some of these techniques? I mean, how do you even begin to predict something as powerful and unpredictable as a volcanic eruption? Well, one of the key things they focus on in the video is monitoring seismic activity. And this is more than just measuring earthquakes, though that is obviously a big part of it. Scientists are analyzing very specific patterns in the seismic waves, like something called harmonic tremors, which can actually indicate the movement of magma beneath the surface. It's like listening to the volcano's heartbeat. That's incredible. So they can almost track the magma in real time. Yeah, it's pretty amazing technology. But it's not just about the seismic activity. Gas emissions are another huge clue that scientists look at. Oh, right. Volcanoes release all sorts of gases, don't they? They do. And changes in the amount or types of gases being released, like sulfur dioxide, can signal that an eruption is becoming more likely. Scientists use special instruments called spectrometers to analyze these gases. It's kind of like taking a blood test for the volcano. So they can see how the volcano's chemistry is changing over time. Exactly. And then there's another really interesting technique that the video talks about. It involves monitoring changes in the volcano's shape. The shape? Really? I wouldn't think that would change that much. You'd be surprised. Even subtle changes in the slope or the ground around a volcano can be an early warning sign that something's brewing beneath the surface. Scientists use super sensitive instruments called tilt meters to detect these tiny movements. It's like noticing that your house is tilting slightly. Might not seem like much, but it could indicate a serious problem with the foundation. In the case of a volcano, that foundation is, well, a whole lot of magma. I bet. So you've got all this data coming in from different sources. Mm -hmm. Seismic activity, gas emissions, ground deformation. How do scientists actually put all that together to make a prediction? It's a complex process, and that's kind of what makes volcano predictions such a challenge. It's not just about looking at one piece of data in isolation. It's about seeing how all these different factors are interacting with each other. It's like solving a giant puzzle where the pieces are constantly changing. So it's like a constant game of trying to stay ahead of the volcano. Right. And the stakes are incredibly high. Definitely. The video actually touches on this, too. It's not just about the science, but also about the very human side of volcano prediction. Imagine being one of these scientists, seeing all the signs pointing towards a potential eruption. How do you make that call to evacuate an entire community? Yeah, that's got to be a tough decision to make. What if you're wrong? Exactly. It's this delicate balance between providing accurate information, warning people about potential danger, but also avoiding unnecessary panic. The video doesn't really delve into this aspect too deeply, but it really highlights the importance of clear communication between scientists, government officials, and the public when it comes to volcanic hazards. Yeah, that's a whole other layer to this, isn't it? It's not just about the science. It's about how we use that science to protect people and communities. Absolutely. And that's why research in this area is so crucial. The better we understand volcanoes and the more accurate our prediction methods become, the more lives we can save. It's really about giving people as much warning as possible so they can get to safety. I know we've only scratched the surface here, 
But this has been a fascinating look at the world of volcanoes and the incredible scientists working to unravel their mysteries. It really has. And, you know, it's not just scientists who are fascinated by volcanoes. Oh, totally. Volcanoes have captured the imagination of people for centuries. Exactly. And that's reflected in the recommended section of this Daily Motion video. There are all sorts of related videos from news clips to documentaries, even some... Well, let's just say more sensationalized stuff. Oh, I've seen those. Mm -hmm. Like, what happens if humans fall inside a volcano? That kind of thing. That's the one. A bit morbid, but hey, it's tapping into our natural curiosity about these powerful forces of nature. And, you know, those videos, even the more outlandish ones, can still serve a purpose. They get people talking about volcanoes, asking questions, and maybe even learning something along the way. I think that's a great point. It sparks that initial interest. And then, hopefully, people go on to learn more about the real science behind these amazing phenomena. Absolutely. It's all about fostering that sense of wonder and discovery. So true. Well, it's been an awesome deep dive today. Thanks so much for sharing your expertise with us. My pleasure. Always happy to talk about volcanoes. And to all of you listening out there, if you're as fascinated by volcanoes as we are, I highly encourage you to keep exploring. There's a whole world of knowledge out there waiting to be discovered. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to make the next big breakthrough in volcano prediction. Oh, that would be something. Until next time, keep on learning and stay curious. See you then. Bye, everyone. Bye.